Hey there, A Sun fans. Jordan Griffith with the A Sun Conference. Today, we have another season in review. And as you may have already guessed, this is going to be the 2021 2022 beach volleyball season. Let's jump right into it. Let's start this review off with the Central Arkansas Bears. Like in previous videos over UCA, they completed their first full season under the A Sun Shield this year. The Bears compiled 17 wins with 8 of those W's being sweeps. This season marked the fourth time in program history that the team earned double digit victories and is second consecutive earning 17 or more wins. Some of the most notable performances UCA put together were in the conference championship, defeating number 10 Jacksonville and number 11 Jacksonville State in pool play. Moving on to the College of Charleston. Much like Central Arkansas, this was the Cougars' first season in the A-Sun and it also marked program history in the sand. Charleston popped off for 22 wins, being just one of five teams to record at least 22 Ws during the season. They also had their own streak of being Giant Slayers, defeating number 12 EKU, number 8 Mercer, and number 9 Stephen F. Austin in the A-Sun tourney. The Cougars didn't just impress in the tournament, but throughout the season with Sky Benjamin and Ella Remus earning second team A-Sun honors. Now on to the Eastern Kentucky Colonels. They say three is a crowd, and that's exactly the case here as EKU is the third team performing in their first A-Sun season. It was a program year for the Colonels, setting a record for most wins this year as they were led by first year head coach Jeff Patton. EKU rode the backs of Peyton Walker and Sarah Mitchell at the A-Sun Championship, getting the sole win on court one. After a record-setting season, EKU looks to next year with only two seniors on the current roster, along with seven underclassmen. A lot to look forward to in 2023 for the Colonels. Moving on to the FGCU Eagles. There are program record-setting years, then there's what FGCU did this season. The Eagles won 29 games while being the first Eagles team to ever eclipse the 20-win mark. The regular season success carried into the postseason, beating the fourth-seeded UNCW Seahawks and going on to play the Stetson Hatters in the final. It was their first title game appearance in the A-Sun Championship since 2019, and they took the champion Hatters to the brink with a 3-2 duel. With team success comes individual accolades, and the Eagles were no different. FGCU's fourth tandem of Snowy Burnham and Courtney Van Loo earned a spot on the 2022 AVCA Flight Winners list, while the fifth pair of Emma Hansen and Caitlin Lubers was also named to that list. A more than successful season for the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles. Moving along to the Jacksonville Dolphins. The Dolphins, like many others, had a benchmark year for the program at the net. They collected their 10th win of the season versus Southeastern Louisiana. When it came to championship time, the pair of Sydney Eckhart and Emily Kubisco tore it up, getting two wins on court two, defeating Central Arkansas and Florida Gulf Coast. That wasn't the end of the individual endeavors as Shaylee Beavis scored a perfect 4.0 GPA in the classroom, earning an all A Sun academic team slot. The Dolphins succeeded in and out of the sand in 2022. Continuing the Jacksonville theme, let's go to Jacksonville State. In their first season in the A-Sun, the Gamecocks nabbed their first win as an A-Sun member versus Eastern Illinois, beating the Panthers 3-2. For JSU, it wasn't about how they started the season, but how they ended it, closing out the regular season with two conference victories over EKU with scores of 3-2 and 4-1. The Gamecocks also capped the postseason with a 4-1 win over Jacksonville, where they fell behind 1-0, then rattled off four straight sets to close the season. Now on to the Mercer Bears. Mercer collected its first victory in the A-Sun Championship since the 2017 season when the Bears chopped down the ninth seeded Stephen F. Austin Lady Jacks by a 3-2 decision. On the second day of pool play at the A-Sun Conference Championship, the Bears took down Eastern Kentucky in a 3-2 match as freshman sensations Nicole O'Mara and Sydney Benson defeated their EKU rivals in straight sets on court three. Another young team sporting 13 underclassmen on the roster with a foundation to build for next season. Keeping it moving with the North Alabama Lions. It was a trailblazing season for the Lions as the team roared to a program-setting 16-win season capping off the regular campaign with a dub versus Louisiana Monroe. 
The pair of Katie Ladner and Mackenzie Martin earned the first ever Ace Sun Pair of the Week honor in program history after defeating UT Martin in straight sets twice. At the Ace Sun Championship, the Lions got off to a hot start, going undefeated on day one with three to two victories against both Jacksonville State number 11 and number seven Central Arkansas. A program year for the Lions leads to a promising year in 2023. Now on to the North Florida Ospreys. The Ospreys had an electric season with 25 wins while 15 of those were on neutral courts and both feats marked program records. UNF played well away from the homeland, scoring a 19-7 record away from home court. The 25-win season was made possible in part by two dynamic pairs in Carly Semenuk and Lauren Gallinis, along with Kaylee Workman and Taryn Griffey. Both pairs were named to the first team all-conference. Semenuk also represented UNF on the all a Sun academic team as the Canadian native earned a 3.90 GPA. It was a strong postseason run for UNF getting four wins over UCA, UNA, JSU, and Jacksonville. Now over to the University of North Carolina Wilmington. Like so many others we've talked about, this is the first season for the Seahawks in the A-Sun Conference, and they certainly made their mark. The Seahawks advanced to the semifinals of the conference championship while also setting a program record for wins in a single season with a total of 25. UNCW was highlighted by the tandem of Maddie Johnson and Sadie Sharkey on the A-Sun All-Conference team, with the duo earning a spot on the second team. UNCW not only impressed in the sand, but also in the classroom. In their first season, in the A Sun, they claimed the Scholar Athlete of the Year honor as Ellie Buki earned the distinction by boasting a 4.0 GPA as an environmental science major. Another successful season for another first year member. Now, on to the Stephen F. Austin Lady Jacks. The Lady Jacks made their presence known around the nation, winning eight of their 13 regular season matches by way of sweep. Another team in their first season in the A Sun, SFA found success early in the season, winning seven of their first nine matches. They also ended their regular season the right way with a win over Southern Mississippi in their final match at the Arizona tournament. Adding to the slew of firsts in the league, SFA recorded its first ever win in a Sun Championship play after taking down Eastern Kentucky 4-1 on the final day in pool play. Now we have finally made it to our conference champions, the Stetson Hatters. There's just no way to sugarcoat it. The Hatters had a loaded schedule versus ranked teams and came away with huge victories. After facing 18 nationally ranked teams during the regular season, the Stetson Hatters captured wins over number 18 South Carolina and number 20 Florida Gulf Coast. The Hatters earned the top seed in the A-Sun tournament and they played like it. They nearly swept their way through the tournament, losing only one set through seven matches. After sweeping FGCU in the title match, the Hatters advanced to the NCAA tournament for just the third time in school history, becoming the first A-Sun team to earn an automatic tournament berth. Stetson's ace number one pair of Shea Henson and Kylie Nusheferova were named second team All-Americans by the American Volleyball Coaches Association. After collecting individual and team gold, the Hatter's reign continues until next spring. And that was your beach volleyball season in review. A huge thanks to all the participants this year who made another terrific beach season possible. And a huge congratulations to our champions, the Stetson Hatters. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media handles at ASUN Sports on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For the ASUN Conference, I'm Jordan Griffith. Thanks for watching.